Hi, happy Saturday Night Live Art Shows, everybody. I'm Brooke Harker in Los Angeles, and I'm excited tonight to share with you a new painting of Laguna Beach, California that will be exhibiting soon at Lou Martin Gallery. So I'm also excited because the shirt I'm wearing is in the painting. So I'm gonna show you the painting and tell you the story of the painting. The painting is called Grace to See. And uh, let's <laughs> as usual, let's see. Let's see if I can turn this. Okay, here you go. See, here's the painting. It's called Grace to See. It's at the main beach in Laguna Beach. If anyone knows Laguna Beach, it features these two women. And see that shirt? I'm wearing that shirt right now because these are two of my dearest friends. And uh, when I took the photo, she didn't know I was going to paint that shirt and then she ended up giving me the shirt and I was already going to be making the painting. And so uh, the title Grace comes from the fact that this friend ha normally has a large tattoo on her back that says Grace. I left it out of the painting because I felt like it might be a little distracting for the scene. And. Um, so what this painting is about, the title to me, Grace to See, is about the, the ability, the grace to see right now. And, um, okay, so what I wanna share about um, this painting and, the, and this friendship is grace to see, is the, the, the idea is, is the grace to see, not just uh, how we want things to be, or grace to see the beauty when life is the way we want it to be, when we get to visit our family, when we get to visit our friends, when we get to travel, when we, we don't have to wear masks, whatever the circumstances are, the idea of grace to see is, is, is what's right now. What do we get to see right now? And these two women have been uh, some of the dearest people in my life because they, they celebrate life in a way. And they came into my life in 2011 and I, I met, actually, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn it around and tell the story of them again, okay. Okay, so uh, I, the, way I, the reason I know these two women is because I had volunteered to be in a, a music video for charity. And uh, I met this, this friend in the video and then she, she invited me to Laguna Beach and then I met her best friend. And these two women have been um, my soul sisters and they, she started inviting me to her home and I would go to Laguna Beach I think for about three years for three or four years every month I would go to Art Walk and she lived a block away from Lou Martin Galleries this is before Lou Martin Galleries even knew that I was an artist and then when she moved to Alaska my other friends started housing me in Laguna and so um, seeing them has is, is always been such um, such a delight in my life because they're just so much fun and um, <laughs> I've been painting for eight hours today and in my mind I had a lot of clear things to say however I just finished this painting today actually and one of the ways that I often know that a painting is done is I hear sounds from the painting I don't always know what I'm gonna hear and I, I don't even know if it happens every painting uh, however this one there's been different times where I was painting and then all of a sudden I could hear the I can hear the water I can hear the birds overhead and this one I could start hearing the laughter of the redhead friend her name's Brenda and then I could hear her telling me about how she was gonna make poached eggs. And then today, when the painting was getting even closer to done, I could hear both of them laughing and giving me directions in the car because I don't drink, so I'm usually the designated driver for these two. And they like to both give me directions at the exact same time and drives me nuts and I love them. <laughs> but I could hear it and I was laughing so hard. And I was laughing and crying at the same time as I was making this painting because that's, I don't know, does that happen anywhere else? Do you cry when you have gratitude? Because that's, that's the way I felt today, was just such gratitude that I get to have such amazing women in my life. And you, you, it might just look like, like okay, two women walk, walking on, on the beach, and then I think about how I got to know them. So, so they've been instrumental in my life, but also in, an, in my career. And then also, the, because getting to know them, how I got to know them, is because I, I volunteered for that music video. And I volunteered for that music video because I met a woman named, named Linda, who was the producer, and she invited me. And I knew that woman who was a producer because I went to my friend Lonnie's birthday party. And I, have, I knew my friend Lonnie because of my friend Heidi. And I knew my friend Heidi because I went to the University of Northern Iowa and studied theater. And because 
our professor Richard Glockner had us do an activity how and I got to know her so there's just this idea in in every little action we take in every move that we make that there sometimes there's a reach beyond what we know and so the people I just listed they may not know that because they did something so little as introduce me to someone that it took my life on a trajectory that it's on now because because Laguna has been such an important part of my my artistic path it's been such a part of my soul I'll obviously you guys see me posting about Lou Martin galleries all the time and so I guess my challenge to you is is to have the grace to see to, to think about who in your life who in your life has introduced you to someone or has done something and maybe they don't even know about it and could you tell them hey because you did this I have this in my life and right now maybe things aren't the way we want them with the world you know where we can travel wherever we want when we want and know that everything is safe and secure with everyone's health um, however there's other opportunities that we can look for and that we can celebrate and so like I say about these two women if there's music they're dancing if there's wine they're drinking it if there's a reason to laugh or if there's any shiny objects they're putting them on also they've if you've ever a lot of people have over the years have started you know commenting on the dresses that I have and and how I always dress up and match my art well these two got me dressing up because I would show up for art shows as my family would say often looking a little bit yeah, I'm not gonna say not 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 so put together and I for some reason just thought that shoes didn't matter uh, to, for whatever else I was wearing and or whatever but they would always play dress me up so that's why I have this shirt is because still when I go to one of their houses they like to dress me up and so uh, may you have the grace to see may you have the grace to see yourself as um, as you are and beyond what you can imagine for yourself. May you have the grace to see others. May you have the grace to see beauty in the world around you, regardless of what's happening. May you celebrate the tiny little things. Because that's what I learned from these women. They've gone through all kinds of things in their life. And you know what? They are celebrating all the time. And that's what we get. We get right now. We don't, we don't know what we get later, but we get right now and we get to see all the colors and the and the the shapes of things around us and the sounds so I I challenge every one of you to have the grace to see and have a beautiful night happy Saturday Night Live Art Shows if you want to see more of my work it's www.brookharker.com and Laguna uh, in Laguna Beach Lou Martin Galleries is open and they do social distance viewing of art so if you are out and about in California and want to stop by the gallery you'll be able to see art live so have a great night everybody and thanks for watching bye bye